Nikki says Aaron's always comparing. He's a total porn dog. He checks out everyone from models to midgets. So on her blind date, when he took off his shirt, I was like, oh my god. She dared to compare. Aaron has a good body, but Casey's is better. Meanwhile, Aaron's blind date got his undivided attention. Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh my god, it was like a scene right out of Baywatch. Now, will they stop looking for greener pastures? I can't compare to everyone in this whole entire earth. Or have a change of heart. What? Thank you very much. I'm Chris Jagger. Welcome to Change of Heart. Let's meet today's couple. Now, he works at UPS, and she's a waitress at Hooters. Well, they met at a party where he rushed his phone number special delivery. However, she didn't think he was the perfect package, and she never called. But when she ran into him again, she realized he was made to order. So in the past 11 months, they've become way more than just bosom buddies. Please welcome Aaron French and Nikki Peoples. Welcome. So, Nikki, why is it that you liked Aaron better the second time around? Well, the first time I met him, he came on way too strong, and the second time, he didn't at all, and I just noticed his great smile and his personality, Aww. I know, and just everything suddenly felt perfect. So there at that moment, Went that's good. So, Nikki, what is it that sets him apart from the other guys that you've gone out with? Well, I've never really gone out with other guys. Aaron's the only guy I've ever dated. He's been oh, my yeah. first boyfriend, my first love. I mean, Aww. actually, Aaron took my virginity, so I mean... <laughs> A lot of firsts. Yeah, but I don't regret anything with him. He's really sweet and really gentle. Well, that's good. And Nikki, if you had to rate him in the romance department, how would you rate him? Oh, uh, if romance was a class, this boy would fail. I mean, he's so unromantic. Not good. No. No, he doesn't take me out. He doesn't ever. No love letters. I mean, nothing special. Aaron, so, you're coming up no a little bit short dinners. there. Why, why is there no effort, no romance? What's going on? Well, yeah, she's, what's the deal? she's just got to understand my work schedule. I work long, hard hours. Aww. Aww. All, all the time, work and work me? and work. And You're so busy. So, all right, Aaron, here, let me give you this for you. I'm going to give you a fill in the blank. You fill it in for me. Huh? I wish she would stop bugging me about marriage. Marriage. <laughs> marriage? <laughs> totally. Marriage. No. It's like every time we go to, no, every time we go to the mall, it's like, Oh, let's go in there. We gotta look at rings. We gotta look oh, at diamond I mean, like rings. Oh, like you pick and... the big fight. You come into the. He picks out engagement rings that he would like best on me, and he talks about our kids. We don't even have kids. He so even knows what kind along. of dog we want. No, she's yeah, like, yeah, he plays a lot. She needs to have the when biggest ring, platinum. It's like, oh, oh I don't oh. care. Aaron. Now, Aaron, like, uh, I, need, I need a couple years. Aaron, Nikki says you need a couple need lessons in love. Years. What does she need? She needs a makeover. Oh! <laughs> Like five outfits, five outfits that just keep cycling oh, over and over. Why one of them's one of her work shirts, a Hooters shopping. shirt. You got it. Well. <laughs> she's, she's got no style. This, is this, oh. this one she's wearing right here, borrowed. Oh. Borrowed. Now, Nikki, how picky is Aaron when it comes to those kind of things? Oh, he's not. He's a total horn dog. He checks out everyone from models to midgets. He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. It doesn't matter. He, he even checks my mom out. I mean, oh. he's wow. She's he's hot. She's my hot. Mom's She's good looking. To, yeah. to me. Now, how does he make you feel though when he's doing those kind of things? I can't compare to everyone in this whole entire earth. I mean, he loves every single girl that walks by him. Everybody. Oh. I don't care. I don't I care. I appreciate every. I woman. can't compare to every single girl there is out there. It hurts me. Now, Aaron, how how is Nikki to get along with as far as your relationship go, and how easy is it to get along? Oh, she's a ticking time bomb. It's like oh. one second she'll be fine, and the next I mention her shoes or something, and she's, well, she blows up. Well, don't my shoes if you don't like them, she and I won't blow up, up at you. Yeah, she she throws like her negative. shoes across negative. the room, throws tantrums, calls, calls me names. names. No. No. Well, you have a little bit of name calling going back and forth, I guess. So, Aaron, so she's good at picking fight. What about, though, after the fight, you got to make up? How is she at that? I have to get her a little credit. She, uh, We got into one fight recently, and she... Uh, I didn't even want to see her anymore. It's how bad it was. Oh. Go back to my house. <laughs> Go back to my house and waiting on the bed was a teddy bear and flowers. And oh. so. A nice romantic moment there for you. Yeah, for me. <laughs> so, Nikki, what brought you here today? Um, our relationship's pretty serious and it could possibly be heading towards marriage. Um, but he's the only guy I've ever dated and I want someone to take me out and pamper me and show me a little attention, make me feel special. And see what else is out there. All right, we've done that for you. Up next, Find out how Nikki's date gave her the ride of her life. That's coming up. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. We're here with Nikki and Aaron. Now, Nikki
Nikki complains that Aaron's too girl crazy, but says when it comes to romance, he's just too girl lazy. <gasps> so we netted her a semi-pro volleyball player whose model for romance is just like his model for sports, just do it. <laughs> Please welcome Casey Brewer. <laughs> You because when uh, when Casey first called, how was he different immediately from Aaron? Oh, he wasn't. It kind of made me nervous. I Oops. Mean, he didn't seem very energetic. Um, he oh. seemed kind of like Aaron. They're both really into volleyball, and it kind of made me nervous. I didn't want to date another Aaron. So oh. you're like Aaron, take two. So yeah. he lost points at the beginning. Just and, in the beginning. All right. So then, how did he make up for it? Well, he told me he had some surprises planned for me, and that made me really happy because. Aaron never has surprises planned for me, on the other hand. And so I was really excited about the date, and uh, I couldn't wait. Well, that's exciting. And Casey, what about uh, Nikki that surprised you? Anything? It, it really surprised me that she told me that she's only been with one guy ever mm -hmm. before. So I had a feeling she's going to be a little nervous for the date, so I tried to do something that would make her a little more comfortable. Right. And Nikki, were you a little bit like a basket case or not? Oh, not as nervous as Aaron. I mean, right before Casey came to pick me up, Aaron calls, and it didn't even seem like he wanted me to go through with the date. He oh. seemed so nervous. I, call, I called because I want... What happened, I called because I wanted to go out that night and I wanted to get some stuff I had left over there. Oh. I, see, sure. I didn't so, so I wasn't saying, worried about her. Yeah, you're saying you're not jealous at all then, right? <laughs> Aaron's like, yeah, nothing to it. All right, Casey, you meet her at the door. How, what was the greeting like? Uh, well, she wasn't at the door when I when I came. I, uh, I had a nice little conversation with the roommate for about 10, 15 minutes while she was getting ready. Uh, kind of built up the excitement. Right, and Nikki, what was the holdup? What were you doing? Um, I was doing my nails because Aaron's always complaining that I'm not girly enough and that I'm not dressed up enough and that I don't do my nails. And so I wanted Casey to think that I was girly. I wanted him she, to she like She never does her nails. She, they get done once and then they sit. You never they bring sit me like flowers. that and they start so, like fading away. You know? They fade and fade. Yeah, but Aaron, what about the fact <laughs> like, that she just admitted that she doesn't do it for you, but she did it for this guy? How does that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. She, it was a romantic date. I want you know, I want everything yeah, she, to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Nikki, Nikki, your roommate got to see him first. What does your roommate think about Casey? Oh, my roommate, she's really hard to impress, but she thought he was so hot. So. <laughs> she, she thinks everyone that walks in the door is hot. Well, no, Nikki, what about you? Did you agree no. with your roommate? Oh, yeah. I mean, he has a great body. He has a great smile. I mean, yeah. he's beautiful. I don't see he's it. gorgeous. <laughs> he looks like Jordan Knight, you know? He looks just like Jordan Knight. He's yeah, gorgeous. Where's Jordan and Casey, Knight now? physically, what was your impression <laughs> right of Nikki? Right here. Well, you know, when we talked to the phone, she kind of hinted to the fact that she'd worked at Hooters, and so, you yeah, know, yeah. I had a little idea what she might look like. And you had certain <laughs> expectations, I would think. She did not disappoint at all. I didn't think so. <laughs> so, Nikki, let's talk about the surprises. What was the first surprise Casey had for you? Um, he took me jet skiing, and, um... Yeah. Jet skiing? Yeah. When he yeah. took off his shirt, I was like, oh my god, my jaw, my jaw just dropped. He just has an awesome body. And actually, we, I believe we have a photo of that, so we can take a look oh. at you while yeah. you're jet skiing. Take a look at the picture. Uh, look there at you that go. body, you guys. Come on, <laughs> girls. Give it up. <laughs> now, now, Nikki. Were you wearing Daisy Dukes? <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, now that we got to see his body, how would you compare Casey's body to Aaron? Aaron has a good body, but Casey's is better. So, oh. I mean... <laughs> So Casey, there you guys are on that jet ski, which looked pretty good. How'd she do on it? Uh, well, you know, she started off a little nervous at first. She's kind of afraid to give it some gas. By the end of the time that her hour is up, she's just going crazy on the thing. Gunning it. Chasing all the boats down, okay. jumping wakes, just going, just an animal. I just let she's a quick out. learner guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Nikki, after something like that, you guys are going to be drenched at that point, so you had to go spruce yeah. up somewhere. Where was that? Um, we went back to his place, and I took a shower. You took a shower? And we got place? dressed back up. shower over there? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I was all oh. wet. So you all right with that? Shower. Oh. And I got so dressed for it. my nice dinner. Was he in the that he was shower about with you? Me. And all I mean, yeah. it would have been nice, but he wasn't. But oh, yeah, Aaron, you did so. say you weren't jealous at all, didn't you? No, I'm never jealous. Oh, okay. Oh. Just wanted to know if Casey was in the shower or not. Casey, she's done uh, getting herself all up. fixed up. How'd she clean up? Well, you know, I don't know how she dresses for you, but she looked fantastic. Great, oh. tight, oh. fancy dress. Oh. Black skirt. It was a borrowed outfit. Another borrowed, borrowed outfit. outfit so. No, it wasn't. Yeah. That was what I had was my clothes that night. So <laughs> oh. we had one here. All right, so Nikki, I understand you guys went to dinner after this, and what was the vibe like at dinner? 
Oh, it was so, so, so romantic. I mean, he was just like looking at me like I was the only girl in the whole entire restaurant. Oh. He totally didn't look at anybody. I mean, he fed me off his fork, all right? And I, you know, I did the same for him. It was just really romantic. Now, what about the fact, Nikki, that he was paying attention to you? What about anybody paying attention to him? Well, everyone was checking him out. All the girls were checking him out. Um, everywhere we went, girls would check him out, and he was totally oblivious to it. In fact, he wasn't comparing me to those girls. He didn't even notice them. Which is a whole different... <laughs> It was good. Who can notice anybody else with this go around? Come on. Now, Casey, what about some other surprises up your sleeve for the date? Well, you know, I had one last thing surprise, big surprise planned. Uh, I had a gondola ride around Mission Bay booked. Yeah. Very uh, romantic. You know, we get out there and we come up. First thing the gondola, the gondolier says when we get up there is, uh, you know, cuddling is not an option. Which was fine with me. So, so that was mandatory. Yeah. Okay. You guys cuddled up. You got all cuddly in there. So you're yeah. cuddling in the gondola or the gondola. Okay. And uh, so this, is, this sounds like it's rather uh, romantic and kind of nice. Anything that was disappointing? Um, yeah, you know, when I took her home, this guy was there waiting for her. Uh, Aaron! Well, I'm going out. I wanted to go out that night. Yeah, that's why you're waiting for me at home. I wasn't waiting. Yeah, at my house. No, but see, here we go again, Aaron. You say you're not jealous, but you knew she was out on her date and coming back, but you were at the house. Right. Mm -hmm. How does that figure? Right. You're not jealous. Okay. I came home early. Okay. Oh, you got home out. early. That's it. Just wanted to see what was going on. So, Nikki, you gave Aaron an F in romance earlier. What would you give Casey? Mm. Oh! Okay. We're going to find out why Aaron's date was clothing optional. Stay tuned. All right, we just heard what happened on Nikki's date with Casey. Now we're going to meet Aaron's date. Aaron says that Nikki's temper is hot, but her wardrobe is not. So we scoured our database and we found a hot chick that he can actually chill with. So please welcome Amy Taylor. <laughs> Let's talk about the date. How did you decide to kick this thing off? How was your date going to start? Oh Aaron, you with me? No, I'm sorry, I got distracted here. You know, if I was between two women that look like that, I'd have the same problem. But tell us, no problem. Tell us how you decided to kick off the date. Uh, we had talked on the phone, and we thought uh, she told me about the fact she likes to ride her bike a lot and mm -hmm. go around the boardwalk. So. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea just to like break the ice and. So you're gonna go pedal around yeah. the beach for so a little while. So she dressed like that ride. when you guys went for your bike ride because. Yeah, she was know. dressed perfect. She was dressed perfectly for a bike ride, you know. Now, Aaron, casual. do you and Nikki do things like that? Go for bike rides? Oh no, with Nikki, it's like oh, no, I can't even have anything. a bike. I can't have a bike because she thinks I'm gonna end up impotent. <laughs> Too much bouncing on the bike seat? Is that what the problem it's is? It's true yeah. back, Aaron. I don't hear Well, she's it. at least looking out for you. Exactly. So, Amy, was Aaron what you expected? Um, actually, he was cuter than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the way he dresses. He's got flavor, and he works for UPS. So he's got yeah. little muscles, you know? So. It's called flavor. And, Aaron, what was it that you first noticed about Amy? Oh, I thought she looked great. She she came jogging up to me, and oh my God, it was like a scene right out of Baywatch, slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, one of the things Nikki says is that Aaron never has any surprises for her. Did he have some surprises for you? Um, actually, he had two surprises for me, but he wouldn't tell me until after the whole bike ride, so kept me suspense right. a little. And so he was away. He was holding back a little bit. So, so Nikki, he's got surprises for her, and you say he will never get surprises. Yeah. So what's that all about? Oh. Yeah. You say you love me, but you don't show it. So you know, where's the surprise? Where's the romance? Special occasion. You got it you know, for her. That I so. go out, yeah. have some Hope fun. Hope you guys had fun. Now, Amy, what about the other thing? Nikki says Aaron's always scoping out the babes when he's when you're out. So you guys were at the beach. How many times was he looking away from you? Oh, constantly. No, no, he probably no. just didn't notice. No, nope, none. He was totally no. focused on the you? The whole time, and you know how the beach is, with all the girls in a bikini, Absolutely. the whole time he's looking right at me. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no. He was comparing you probably to every girl on the beach. So, Amy, tell us about the first surprise. What was it? The first surprise was he had it arranged for us to go to the salon, and he arranged for me to get a facial, and we both got massages. Oh. But um, the masseuse came out and told us we had the option to go with or without our underwear, too. So, so it was totally optional. <laughs> so, Aaron. Oh, yeah. No, see, 
<laughs> we went in and I asked him, I said, do you think it'd be possible if we did it in the same room? Oh, of course. Oh. <laughs> But, but, but they did give us some like lame excuse that the rooms were too small so we can. Right, so uh, how unfortunate. They know you're a horn dog and they didn't want you to put you in the same room. It's probably safe. It was probably safe. So, Aaron, tell us what you were doing while she was getting rubbed on. Well, I was in my, in the same, in another room getting a massage and I was just laying there naked, wondering if she was in the next room laying there naked. (laughs) Just trying to picture it. Did you ask afterwards to find out if indeed she was? Oh, yeah. I asked her if she was, and she was like, well, hell yeah, I didn't. Nikki, <laughs> it's always got to be done. Why not? It's like, and really, I, I just don't care? think Nikki, she was I just don't think Nikki would be willing to do something like that. <laughs> just I wonder if you me. ever offered, Aaron, but you don't. Well, Amy, I got to ask you, if, if he was appreciating you for a moment or two there without your clothes, did he appreciate the fact when you were in your clothes? Yeah, we went, we changed for dinner. Then um, he complimented me on my, on my pants, which I did wore he, these he, pants um, here. Did he rag on your shirt? Because when he compliments me on my shirt or anything, he has to rag on something else. So. No, oh. he didn't rag on anything. He liked well, everything I was just wearing. Just wait he a few days because he was, so he was totally complimented. Yeah, whole outfit whole, di- whole dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so Aaron, we've heard about Nikki's right. temper. What did you learn about Amy's? That she doesn't even have one. She's so laid back. It's great. I mean, it's totally the opposite of what I can expect from Nikki. Nikki, <laughs> with, with Nikki, it's like... 50% thunder every day. You never know. Well, maybe if you wouldn't say such hurtful things, you wouldn't get so much thunder. Yeah. <laughs> Amy. Amy, I'm assuming that the massage was the first surprise, and uh, what was the second? Um, second surprise was he had arranged for us to see these Hawaiian Island fire dancers. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. unfortunately, I missed out on that because that, um, I started getting a little bit of a cold, and so I oh, had to miss that. Oh, go. man. So, so, Aaron, you were hoping that the date was going to end with fire dancers? Is that oh, what? no, no, no. I, I had more <laughs> planned just in case. I mean, when we went to her house to get changed for dinner, uh, I asked her if she could bring along a bathing suit. Because <laughs> just bring her back to my place, invite her into the jacuzzi. Oh, you wanted to do a little hot tub action? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's not enough to have her naked in the next room. You have to have her in her bikini, well, too? Yeah. Nothing's enough for you, Aaron. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Nikki, to be no, fair, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki. first date. Nikki. <laughs> You're so romantic, Aaron. You're so now, wait a minute. Nikki, to be fair, you were out on a date. This guy, we saw the picture. No shirt. I mean, all the wet. Shower. The whole works. And his shower. <laughs> yeah, and then the shower. I wish. Now, <laughs> Amy, Nikki gives Aaron low scores in romance. We know that. How would you rate him? I'd give him a 10. Definitely. A 10. <laughs> now, tell us why. <laughs> he did everything perfect. I mean, he brought me flowers. He opened the door for me. He planned this whole romantic flowers? date. I mean, perfect the whole flowers. night. Oh, he was doing the whole okay. works there. So, yeah. Amy, tell us how you guys capped off the evening. Um, unfortunately, all I got was a really big hug. Because since I was getting kind of sick, I didn't want to give him my germs. And oh. so... <laughs> so you resisted. Yeah, but I'm hoping I might get a second chance later. Ooh. All right. Will Amy get that second chance? We're going to find out. Will Nikki have a change of heart? We don't know, but stay tuned and you'll find out. Now, they may be headed for the altar, but Nikki says that Aaron was her first and that the passion's already fading. Well, they needed to know what they're missing, so let's see what they found out. Aaron, we're going to get your decision first. It's been 11 months, which is a long time for a romance to be going on. We sent you out with Amy. You had a different kind of date. You had a, a good time without all the drama that you're used to. What do you say? You know, I had a great time with Amy. It was, it was a lot of fun, and it was more fun than I've had with Nikki in a long time. <laughs> but actually... This show showed me that I need to pay a little more attention to my relationship and I could put a little more into it. And, uh, Stay I'm gonna together. Stay. All right, Amy, sorry things didn't work out for you. Nikki, let's go to you now. Aaron says he wants to stay together. And you said you've always, uh, you know, thought about marriage in the past, so we know it's serious. Right. But you did go out with Casey. Right. You had, a, you know, a date where he focused on you, and you said that was important to you. But what do you decide? Well, Casey is just so easy to fall in love with. I mean, there's, he just has so many good things about him. Um, he's perfect. And, but just seeing, he pampered me, but just seeing the way Aaron treated her, I'm thinking maybe he can treat me the same way. And Aaron's the only person I want to spoil me, so I'm going to stay together. Well, you say stay together. And Casey, sorry things didn't work out. Nikki, but the good news is that you both want to stay together, and by coming on the show, I think Nikki, Aaron admitted he knows how now to treat you the way you well, want to be treated, hopefully. so hopefully that's exactly what will happen. I'll that is back. our show for today. Thanks to Amy and Casey. Good luck to Aaron and Nikki, and we'll see you next time on Change of Heart. <laughs>